It's gonna be awesome. Oh, I see a squirrel. So that I may talk. Squirrel! Squirrel! Hello and good morning everyone. You guys, welcome back. We are coming to you Friday afternoon. Kids just got home from school. We are in fact still missing two kids. But Miss Hazy is here. Thank She's wearing you. a new dress. She just got and she loves it. I huh? love it. She loves it. I'm just wearing cozies. In fact, I have to go actually change because I'm supposed to be wearing pink today. On Fridays we wear pink. That's what we're going with. I'm actually about to head out here soon for the evening until tomorrow. We are going with some of the youth in our neighborhood. We have a couple of adults going. We're going to a cabin to hang out overnight have a fun dinner, have a fun brunch, play games, connect, you know, just kind of pull away from all of the crappy things of the world. Go and just hang out together with a bunch of women. It's gonna be really awesome. I am ready, but one of my friends reminded me, Mindy, you're not wearing your pink. I kind of forgot. I do have appropriate nails, but I do need to change into a pink sweatshirt, which is appropriate because it's cold outside. We're supposed to have a storm coming. A little nervous because we're going up into the mountains. We're supposed to be having a storm come tomorrow. I'm a little afraid of driving down the canyon with all the snow, but that's okay. I'm gonna take my car. My car does excellent in the the snow so I know we'll be safe even though driving in the snow does make me super nervous you guys I've loaded up my stuff I've gotten some stuff done today which I did not know how I was gonna get anything done today and I swear to you last night as I was saying my prayers before I went to bed I was like can we somehow just make some extra time in the day I swear to you it happened I don't know how I was able to get as much done as I have in the time it happened and I'm so grateful packed for my little teeny tiny getaway I'm in charge of bringing the karaoke machine girls had fun with that last time my sleeping bags in the car pillow of course I have to bring drink cup also napkins so I have a couple of things to bring we went and did a bunch of grocery shopping this morning. It is all already up at the cabin. We have taken care of that. Other than that, I think I'm ready to rock and roll. Just hanging out with the kids for one last hour. is loaded. I've gotten a couple of snacks ready. With these kind of things, they do have to have a permission slip. So I have printed permission slips. I'm going to take the girls. I just need to load up my Stanley. Hazel has been so kind and generous to write me a post-it note on the freezer. It says I need to grab the frozen stuff. And just because, you know, sometimes we're moms and our brains get full, I have another one right there warning me to grab the frozen stuff. I have to bring the hash browns and I am bringing Rhodes Rolls cinnamon rolls. Those are going to be yummy. I'll try to capture a couple little clips up there and show you guys. It's kind of fun. I miss the kids. I always love going and doing these things, but like, this is the third weekend in a row that I have not been here for one or more nights. Brexy's looking at me with a really sad face. And I'm gonna miss him so much. Brexton has already got his reading done because he got to take his Squishmallow, his bestie gave him. And he has a, what's this called? Lilo and Stitch blanket and a Lilo and Stitch comfy that he took to school with a bunch of books. They had like a little readathon. So Brexton's already done all of his reading for today. So I'm sure they're going to fill some of their time tonight with playing some games. They're excited for that. I'm going to be cooking like crazy. We are doing a sandwich bar tonight and then tomorrow morning we're doing breakfast burritos. Of course there's tons of treats and snacks and fun and games and all the things that we're gonna do. So it's gonna be awesome. Oh I see a squirrel. So that I may talk. Squirrel. Squirrel after I get home, a list of things that I need to do is extensive, long, it's crazy, but we'll get it all done. One of the things that I need to do is I need to take Brexton shopping for some clothes. He had the maturation program today at school and they were talking about all of the different changes that happen to boys Brexton's age and just a little bit older. And you know what? They got to the section where they talked about how their bodies change, how they're getting taller and they're growing. And I'm like, okay, yep, he's growing. He's eating a lot more. He is growing out of some of his clothes. Being that it is spring, we'll go and get him a little refresh. Probably won't go too crazy on shorts. We'll get those just for the cruise. Who knows? He could be in a different size pair of shorts before summer. We're gonna go get him some stuff. He even just needs like new pajamas. Kind of is it a phase where he needs new everything. And such a gap between Ryler's clothes and Brexton's that the hand-me-downs take quite a while to get into. Anyways, he needs some. Of course, crew does too. So we'll get to that soon. But I says, Brex, maybe tomorrow. Take you shopping. If you can go through all your drawers, see the things that don't fit or you don't want, take them out. Let's get rid of them. We'll go take him to do some shopping tomorrow. Also, I need to go grocery shopping. So a lot on the docket tomorrow. But for today, I'm gonna go have some fun. I've prepped and gotten ready as much as I can. We're ready for this afternoon. Wouldn't take it off yet. It's not in the car. Hang out. Mom. 
Mom is off. It's me and most of the kids here. Dry Guy's also out with friends on a Friday night, living it up. It's been a great day for the kids. Believe it or not, they actually both decided to try out for the volleyball team. I think they had so much fun playing on the school basketball team, camaraderie, the extracurricular. It's really fun to stay after school for practice and hang out with your friends a little bit longer. So I totally get the desire to be involved in those things. But I don't think either one of them have ever played actual volleyball. I don't think they've ever even like learned the rules. So I was very surprised when they decided to try out for the team. And I love that they do those things. I love that they try new things. They're not afraid to try new things. They're not afraid to put themselves out there. And if it works out, great. If it doesn't, they're cool with that too. They just want to go and try. And I love that attitude. I love that mindset, that approach to life. And so today, both boys tried out for the school volleyball team. I think they'll find out next week if they get like callbacks and whether or not they make the team. But I think both of them <laughs> really had a good time. Crew actually had to leave early to get to his private basketball practice that he has. So he left a little bit before tryouts ended. And then it worked out perfect timing that as they ended, I was able to pick up Rye Guy. And then Riley jumped in the driver's seat and he drove to go pick up crew and bring us back home. But he's already back out with friends now. I think they went to in and out We had Taco Bell. There's nothing but healthy food around here, especially once mom leaves the house. It's kind of fun to hit that DoorDash, get something fun. But it is me, Brex, Hazy, and crew here. So we're hanging out in the basement. Probably gonna watch some movies. Uh, the sun has already set. We are in a winter storm warning right now. And at first I was thinking that was gonna be pretty light, pretty minor, just a simple temperature change. However, as the winds have picked up, and I'm saying this quietly because Hazy does not like it when the winds start whipping out there, it is getting pretty vicious out there. And mom went up the mountains to Sundance to a cabin with some of the youth in the neighborhood here. And that is heading more probably towards the storm, more to where they're gonna be getting snow. I think we're just getting some rain, maybe a little bit of a snow mix on Sunday. Fingers crossed and checking in with her, making sure she's all right. And the last time she went to this cabin, I think it was this particular one, they had snow up past the first level window. So like almost the entire first level covered in snow. And it hadn't been shoveled up against there. It hadn't been plowed up against there. That's just how deep it was. It has the potential to really get dumped on there. And we know that the storm is coming. I can feel it outside. The wind is whipping. It is freezing cold. We enjoyed that 50 degree day yesterday. If you didn't see that, go check it out. We actually got outside, even jumped on the trampoline, which is a first since last year, last summer. That felt nice, but it was short lived because we know we are in Utah, you guys. It's teasing. It's messing with us. It is not spring. It's not even close. We got a lot of winter left for us here in the house. Probably going to turn on the fireplace, cuddle up with a movie, and I would bet we're going to be throwing down another full family sleepover tonight because that's what we love to do on the weekends. And you guys, I know mom going out of town, getting a little bit old. It's the third weekend in a row. I don't think that was intentional. I think as she planned each thing individually, they came up at different times and they just kind of landed in successive weekends. Successive a word. So it was back to back to back. Started off with the girls trip with Stephanie, which is kind of an impromptu fun thing that they decided to do when it didn't work out how they traditionally do it. They still wanted to do it. So they went and made that happen. Followed by Maddie's race in Las Vegas. She was just down in Las Vegas. If you guys didn't check that video out, it was fantastic. They surprised her at the starting line of her first ever half marathon in Las Vegas. And mom took Hazy with her on that adventure, which was a lot of fun. And then this one is related to her volunteer service work in our church organization. And so she and some other ladies have taken some of the teenage girls to a cabin for an overnight where they will do some fun activities, teach some lessons, have some devotionals and other great things like that. And they'll be back in the morning or early afternoon. That's just how it laid out, you guys. And there's still a lot more of little weekend getaways to come for mom as she's gonna be taking Ryler to Universal Studios. And I think there was one more in there somewhere. I don't really know what, but all of that is before we even leave for spring break, which is at the end of this month. We are currently in the month of spring break. And that is what's giving me hope as we have these winter storm warnings after winter storm warnings that there is some light at the end of the tunnel, if you will, some sun in the sky and spring on the horizon. And that brings me some serious joy. Are you going right? You got this, bro. Is he right in there? Are you sure? It's actually pretty wild how you are. All right behind him, right behind him. Shotty. Oh, he's behind you. Yes! That is how we play the game. Crown this. <laughs> Got him a lot too, nice job. <laughs> diamond three. And that was the rank up right there on that one. Whoa! Did you just go halfway through diamond three in one win? Oh my gosh, bro. Elite is happening for you, bro.
very favorite part of the entire week. It is the basement sleepover. I don't know if Creepy Doo is gonna hang out down here or not. He hasn't decided yet. Maybe, maybe not. Rye Guy's still not home. He's gonna be getting home here pretty soon. It's pretty late. Getting these kids into bed, but we have had so much fun here hanging out. We've checked in with mom. She's doing fantastic. She's not snowed in. She did see a lot of signs on the drive there to expect some serious snow conditions on the roads tomorrow and to plan accordingly. So as she gets ready to pack up and head out tomorrow, we will have to see how the weather has changed. Again, the storm's supposed to be coming in overnight. I don't know what that's gonna mean for us here in the valley, as much as it is up in the mountains where mom is. But here, we're just gonna bundle up together, cozy up. This is where we're gonna be hanging out tonight. Absolutely love these nights. We live for these weekends. All week, we count down to the next family sleepover. We are so stoked to be hanging out here together. Crew is over here just getting win after win. About to move up into the elite category in Fortnite. So he's very focused right now, as you can see. I'm gonna wrap it up from here. Thank you for hanging out with us today. All week, this weekend, there's so many more fun and exciting things coming up tomorrow. Mom will be back pretty early tomorrow, and I think she may be going and getting Brexit a full set of clothes for the cruise, for spring, for summer, outfitting him. Wherever you are, we hope you're having a fantastic weekend. We love you, thank you for hanging out with us, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Right there on that way. Whoa! Did you just go halfway through Diamond 3 in one win? Of course, I have to bring a, a, a drink, a cup. I have to bring a cup of some kind.